conversations with pro and semi-pro Rocket League players aspiring to great things. Today, Snowy, undoubtedly South Africa's best Rocket League player over the last few years, and along with Orlando Pirates XD, champions of Regional 1 and Regional 2 in Sub-Saharan Africa. It is very bright though. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you that. As we record this, we've just crossed over into Season 5 and a regional last weekend where you guys, uh, you and Orlando Pirates, won your second regional. How are you feeling generally about about your game, about how how the competition's going, the impact of having these regionals? Um, so, in terms of my game, like specifically, I don't feel too amazing to be honest like uh, sort of like the last year of not trying hard enough has kind of like made me play like you know okay not not amazing okay. like i almost i almost want to say i was playing better rock league in 2019 almost okay but in terms of the team uh it's been really good like we we've made a lot of uh, a lot of progress since since skill join, since uh, Zebra moved into coaching position, we've made a lot of progress. Uh, but we haven't quite managed to get the progress to happen in the matches, you know, uh, partic particularly against uh, Bravado, because I mean that's essentially where it matters the most is yes. in that specific matchup, um, and they've been a lot closer than we would have liked. Let me ask ask the question in a slightly different way you, about your your attitude to the game now that there's something legitimate and proper to to grind for and play for how are you feeling about about the game in general are you enjoying rocket league or is it are you grinding or uh, is it is it is it more of a is there more enjoyment than there had been or what um there's definitely more enjoyment i definitely feel like more keen to improve than i've done the last sort of year and a half um and i am enjoying it a little bit more um and yeah i mean we we taking it a lot more serious now obviously with yes. uh, with our rlcs being here so i mean the the goal to improve specifically as a team has uh you know that's there's been a lot of motivation behind that how do you how are you guys approaching this as a team and and, and looking to get better um well i mean first of all we play a lot together i mean we try unfortunately for us like with our situation the only real games we get are like a you know, a scrim against one team every now and then, um, and ranked. And I mean, ranked is kind of scuffed because we have to play with 200 ping. Yes. Um, but I mean, 200 ping aside, we still try and play a lot of ranked. Okay. Um, so I mean, it's good to just to play together. Uh, but when it comes to scrims, you know, we we trying different stuff. Uh, you know, to see what works. We're doing a lot of replay reviews on those scrims and those games and the games from the matches, you know, to see what went wrong, what went right, you know, how we could approach matches different in the future. The, the practice might become a bit more routine later into next year because uh, Darth is still writing exams. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, this The fact that it's, you know, all has happened at the last part of this year has become, like, it's a bit uh, a bit hectic, you know. Yes. Now there's holidays and stuff, so I think I think more into next year it'll become a bit more, a bit more routine, a bit more structured. Okay. So let's just look ahead a little bit to the third regional coming up, and I know it's a little bit awkward for you because you're yes. you're, you're, you're going on holiday. So is Darth. So now you're scrambling, trying to trying to figure out a way to play the game while you're while you're on holiday. But so so yeah. with all of that, uh, how how you how confident are you feeling with? I mean, we almost, regional. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, we really, really, we just, we want to win every regional. Um, so, you know, the, our approach doesn't change at all for regional three, but we do understand that this, due to, you know, circumstances out of our control, yes. uh, it's kind of become a bit scuffed, this regional. Yes. So, we, we're almost looking at it like kind of like a bogey regional, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay. with the announcement of um, Sub Saharan Africa, yeah getting into being opened up to rlcs which i think came as a surprise to just about everybody i i, I certainly wasn't expecting it um no there was no there was no literally zero prior indication that yes. something like that might happen and then it was very bizarre and, 
Well, well, bizarre, but bizarre in a good way. At least it was a pleasant, yeah, no, no. Sur well, at least a pleasant yeah. surprise. I mean, a very pleasant <laughs> surprise. Very, very good. Um, and you were pretty much at the point of, I don't know if retiring is the right word, but you'd sort of reached a point of like, well, what else? There are other things you could be doing since Rocket League's not exactly going anywhere. What were, what were your plans and what are they now? Um, I mean, I, I think retirement is definitely the word that you, you could use. Uh, I mean, after, after we had won, well, I'm actually, the announcement came before the VS finals, uh, but I was, you know, fairly confident we were going to win those finals and that would sort of be, you know, the last, the last thing that I would do with Rock League. Um, and I would literally uninstall the game after those finals and, you know, be done for good. Uh, but since the announcement and, you know, seeing how actually legit it is, you know, I mean, we are, I mean, they like, they like to say we are not a full participant, you know, that's pretty much exclusively because we're not part of the majors which is yes. disappointing but i mean it's still the real deal i mean we still got a path directly to the main world championship yes or the wild card uh, and the prize money is huge you know especially for us south africans uh, yes. earning dollars you know two rands it makes a huge difference um so my plan before that was you know to just stop and be done with rock league after the vs finals um and actually probably go and pursue uh english blackball or just pool okay. i guess as people know it because um sort of uh since the end of 2019 i've been playing a lot of pool and snooker and that's sort of become like my main passion you know i was okay. enjoying that a lot more than rock league practicing that a lot more um and then i won the south african under 23 championship and that sort of potentially opened some doors to maybe go play in the uk uh, so I was probably going to follow that route and go do that instead uh, okay. of playing Rock League. But since the announcement, obviously, you know, uh, I was definitely not going to miss out on Sub-Saharan African RLCS. Yes. Uh, so plans changed very quickly. Uh, you know, we started negotiating with Orgs. We re-signed with Pirates, which was very cool. Um, and yeah, it became a lot more serious. We want to play the whole season and then we want to go boot camp in EU uh, before the wild card and then play the wild card. So, so yeah, that's that's how the plans change. It's uh, a lot more Rock League focused now. <laughs> yes. And and are you enjoying the process? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's it's awesome. You know, I mean, how many people can say that they, you know, play, play esports like, you know, yes. the way that we do now, sort of like... Uh, not completely for a living, but, you know, almost. So, well, on that point, at, at, at what point does making a living from being a South African Rocket League player become viable? Um, well, I think we're in a pretty unique situation where, because, uh, you know, we've been so dominant that, you know, the prize money that we're winning, you know, winning so frequently, it essentially you know plus whatever support we get from an org it essentially almost makes it viable as it is right yeah. but this kind of dominance won't last uh forever right and yes. so i think with the current prize pool that that is available to us now uh it's only really feasible you know if you're winning a lot uh but i think in future if the prize pool increases i think it's you know it becomes a lot easier for mm. teams that are just sort of top eight to be making a living so for the last three years you've been a fairly well would it be accurate to say that you've kind of been the backbone of the team um I th yeah you could say that i mean i've definitely been the best player but that doesn't take anything away from my teammates no, i mean absolutely. there's been a lot of times and, and, where and, and, and there's certainly no intent to but i mean if i think of uh, from the time i got involved in the local scene there was it was it was you mother and zebra and then yeah. after that it was um then mother left and then i think mr low joined and then and then mr low left and shadow joined then shadow left and now it's darth um yeah. and now zebra's left and you now have you now have skill steel so there's been yeah. the point being over the last three years you've been you've been the the constant member of the team so there is uh, there will be a bunch of people who will dispute the statement that you're the south that's that you're south africa's best player but i think by and large everyone's happy to agree that that you are <laughs> they um, they should be happy the results speak for themselves <laughs> fair enough 
and it so in your mind why is that why why have you sort of got to the level of rocket league you have i mean you're probably only south africa's only legitimate ones ssl player um so what have you done you do you think that's been that's different to how other people have approached it or grinded it or uh, what are your thoughts around that um i don't know if i could pinpoint it you know to anything specific i think it's yeah. probably for all players who you know in any given community or competition that rise above others i think there's definitely a certain process there uh, in terms of the way they approach whatever game or sport they're playing you know plus a little bit of you know natural ability or talent or you know whatever you want to call it yes um and it's also i would probably say maybe the biggest thing is probably just the drive you know uh it's the drive to to win specifically or to be the best yes. uh, on top of those other factors and you know following the process and practicing a lot and that sort of thing i was very confident that i would be able to do it yes. you know and i was like not not even confident that i w was going to be able to do it that i was more like i am going to do it you know what yes. i mean like i am going to be better than everyone here and, and i want to win every tournament <laughs> If we look at like sort of general advice maybe too because i think there are a lot more players now grinding and uh yeah. looking to looking to get into teams looking to get part of the competitive scene um and i don't like they want to become pro players so if you were to what do you think your average person someone who's 15 16 years old sees that rlcs is here and they go okay i want to i want to go what is the thing you think they don't they don't know about what it takes to get to that level you know a lot of players love the game and they play and they essentially you know quote unquote practice a lot right yeah. i mean they're essentially just playing but they're getting better uh but they don't practice in necessarily the right way uh you know what i mean they don't practice with uh, like a very specific goal in mind or you know they don't approach the game like mentally the correct way to improve a significant amount or improve in a certain way that will be you know beneficial in a competitive aspect i think that's probably the biggest thing is okay. they they just don't get it you know what it takes to practice in the correct way i mean that's probably probably the biggest thing um i think other than that it's probably more just game specific stuff like uh you know the the way things go in a match i mean players really just don't understand like you know what it's like to play in a you know in a somewhat important match you know in the context of a tournament they don't really understand uh you know what it takes you know the way you need to approach it mentally i think that's probably a big thing so you see a lot of these players that are very you know very capable very mechanical you know very naturally talented yes. but when it comes to tournaments they just don't really find any success because they're approaching it in the wrong way well, let's talk about the, the the mentality for a moment, and and I don't know if that's something is that something you discuss in the team dynamic. I mean, you you guys have had some challenging. If we if I go back <laughs> if I go back to the last regional, um, yeah. I mean you you were down three one. You managed to take it to game seven, and then one in overtime. That series was probably the closest you've been pushed. And then in the earlier series, you, there was an own goal, to, I think, to take you guys down to 3-1. And you managed to come back from that. So clearly there is a mental strength. So has is that is that part of what you guys talk about, think about? Um, yeah, so uh, in the first regional, we were actually 3-2 down. Uh, and we had the we had the lead to go to game seven to keep us alive. And we own gold on zero seconds. That's right. Yes. Uh, yeah, so... And yeah, this last regional was definitely rough as well, 3-1 down. Um, but I, yeah, so it's definitely something that we talk about because um, it's it's a huge part of the game. And, you know, I've been competing in a lot of different stuff over the years, you know, not just Rock League. Like, uh, I've sort of competed in almost everything that I've done. You know, I always want to play you know, whatever sport or game in a competitive aspect. Yes. Um, and the mental side of the game is actually probably even, it's probably bigger than literally you know the the physical or you know mechanical side of things it's it, i think it's actually just bigger yes. uh, because the mental has more effect on that than the than the other way around you know uh, obviously if you you know if you're playing great like uh, you know if you're just playing very good like let's say your mechanics are popping on one day obviously that makes you feel better mentally and then you play good but it's more the other way around 
I would say more like you know if you're mentally in a good place and you're thinking about it correctly mm. that affects you the way you play more than it does the other way around um, so it's definitely something that we discuss and obviously like you mentioned there's been a bunch of iterations of you know the XT or Pirates roster yes um, and for all the new players that have come in I've really tried to you know share my knowledge uh, yeah. especially on the, the mental side of things you know mm. the way that we need to approach matches and and games and okay. like i'm really glad that it's that it's sort of shone through lately because we've been in a couple rough spots yes. <laughs> and we managed to dig our way out of it and i think it's i think the way that we came out of those rough spots was purely purely mental what are your i mean you're now you're now 21 so yeah. in, in 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 rocket league years you've <clears throat> quite old <laughs> you, well that's that that might be a harsh thing to say given fact that i'm just about to turn 50 but uh, <laughs> uh but yeah i mean it might be considered it might be considered quite old in in, in rocket league terms so what are your short-term medium-term longer-term ambitions goals plans with rocket league uh so short term would be just to close out the split with another win you know go for three three and three um and go off into your Go off into the holidays, you know, feeling good. Um, uh, medium term would be to try and um, go nine for nine. Obviously, that would be extremely difficult, you know, because uh, everyone's improving. And like I say, Bravado is a good team, and you know, they probably they're probably good enough now that they sort of earned, you know, the right to win at least one regional, yes. maybe more. Uh, but our goal is definitely to win every regional, so that would yeah. that would be the medium term goal, and I think the long term goal would be to improve enough as a team that we can be respectable against legitimate international opposition. Like I say, we wanted to do we want to do a boot camp um, before the wild card, and you know, while we're there, try and learn as much as possible, try and improve as much as we can as a team in. A proper proper environment where yes. you know we can hopefully improve enough to the point where like I say we can be we can give them a good fight you know? so yeah that's that's definitely the long-term goal is just to try and try and get to a respectable level you know when we mm -hmm. play against those teams and even further on that you know more years to come is to maybe try and get to a point where we can actually compete and maybe beat them how long do you foresee yourself playing professionally um, in the local scene you know you, you got to move on at some point i mean rocket league really doesn't last forever and like like i said i'm you know 21 is quite old in terms of rocket league age yes. um but i mean you know while this opportunity is here i'd like to keep playing sort of as long as possible but i you know also just me as a person like i'm extremely competitive and uh i don't i wouldn't be able to see myself hanging around very long if i wasn't winning enough you okay. know you know, so is it sort of, of ice, okay, so there's uh, maybe sort of go out on the top or or recognize as early as possible that, okay, the the, the party might be over. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps. I mean, um, and, and how, like I said, I just And how long do you think winning. that is? So we're in the 21-22 20, season, 22-23, 23-24, might, might it go as far as that? I think so. So yeah, I, th I think probably two years, maybe three years, is okay. probably the the realistic. And then, do you see sort of a, Do you see yourself being involved in the game post a professional career, whether you you've stayed here or you've emigrated? Yeah, I think I think I'd like to try. Um, I think sort of maybe casting or you know analyst work has always kind of been in the back of my mind. Not necessarily specifically for rock league, but sort of anything. Uh, like I'm a I'm a big fan of that kind of work, and I feel like. You know, Indeed. knowing myself as I do, <laughs> I feel like I would be suited for that kind of work. Okay. Um, so, you know, if the I opportunity think be, arises... I think it would be or, amazing to have you as a caster. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, if, if the opportunity arises, like, I would definitely try and do something like that. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to now I'm gonna ask you some kind of quick-fire questions about you. Where are you based? In four ways, bro. <laughs> four ways, but okay, good. Yeah. You started Rocket League in what year? 
very very late 2016 uh like sort of like december 2016 sort of an xbox went to a very bad pc and then earned some money and bought a better pc and how many hours have you played and i know it's a complicated question because there's yeah. multiple accounts platforms and all of that yes. but how many Extremely hours would you say you've you've grinded in the game probably have to estimate somewhere around five and a half maybe 6k after this year something like that not absolutely certain okay. but yeah roughly around there five six k do you have a favorite mechanic favorite mechanic uh ground shots like bouncer one to ground shot for sure it's like my uh my og original favorite I literally okay. just practice that non-stop car main uh octane slash fennec used to be very much octane now fennec has kind of become 50 50 with it the controversial question Rule one, yeah. yes or no? Absolutely ridiculous. Hated. Think it's the most, like, most uh, useful, useless thing in the world. Like, it's yeah, it's so dumb. And I really dislike those people who get like angry when, you know, when you break it or something. So, so can can I mark you down for a hard no on rule one? Yes, very. Mm. I'm anti rule one. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you wish you had known earlier? Um, I mean, the, I wish I knew mutation. sort of like, you know, what was what was coming, uh, like uh, tournaments was. You know what I mean? Like, if I knew RLCS was coming all these years ago, I would have been non-stop grinding the whole time. Mm. <laughs> I wish I knew earlier on, you know, what was required, you know, in terms of the team dynamic. Because that plays a huge role in three specifically. I mean, I've always kind of been like a ones man, and uh, the transition to threes was a little bit, you know, tricky. Um, but a huge part of that was just sort of like, um, you know, the, the team dynamic between teammates. I sort of never really understood it fully until recently. Well, why why did you gravitate to ones as much as you did? So I, I bought the game with a friend of mine. We bought it together. When he wasn't around to like queue with me or to play, then I was like, hmm, like oh, I see there's 1v1. So I started playing a lot of 1v1s and I and I realized like, you know, I get a lot more time on the ball mm. when I'm playing once. Uh, so I literally just started playing once. And then like I stumbled upon Johnny Boy's YouTube videos, as you do. Um, and yeah, I was pretty much straight straight away addicted. You know, I saw the all the people playing ones at the time, like Devo, Dapper, K Dob, Fairy Peak, or Scrub, and I was literally addicted. Like the the one scene was so cool, the matches were so cool. Uh, and, and 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 do you think that's ha played a big role in getting you to the level where you are? I mean, do you think that's a fact? I asked earlier about your like what has made it. What have you done that's different to everybody else? Do you think the ones grinding? is a major part of that yeah absolutely 100 percent. i think there's there's very few people that like specifically locally that, that actually played ones like enough you know what i mean like mm. they played like a few games here and there but generally the, the general consensus was like we hate ones yes <laughs> we, don't, we don't play so it definitely helped accelerate my improvement uh compared to the rest of the south african players that 100 percent. snowy yeah thanks good. for thanks for chatting it's been interesting as as always and uh good luck in the regional thank you and right on cue the rain is coming down very hard <laughs> <laughs> well there you go well 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 good luck with yeah every, everything breaks when it rains like this so good luck